uh, the watch strobe, right? Because you can you can have the 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 white light ish, the red light, and then the strobe light. And we were saying, you know, limited use cases that we came up with for it. Mark has another one. He says, uh, as the days get shorter, the strobe setting is great for walking or biking along roads at dusk. So yeah. cars can see you. What a brilliant that idea. Is, that is a good idea. Yeah. It really is. Yep. I still would like, you know, you got the red mode on the a- yeah. Apple Watch Ultra. Yeah. <sighs> There's, I forget what well, we mode have the it red is. mode on all watches, yeah. as you oh, pointed out. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. no, no. Sorry. The red yeah. light for the flashlight. Yes. We don't yeah. have the red watch. The red face. mode. You right, can turn your right, crown right. on your watch dial and it goes and your watch goes red. It's good for sleeping. You can leave the always on display on and yeah. you aren't brightening up the entire yeah. room. Yeah. Uh, but the, the one fish shake at Apple I have on that is, you know, if you're in red mode and you turn on the flashlight, maybe you'd like the red light to come on. <gasps> But it comes on to white, and it defaults to white. Even if you turn yeah. it off and go back, it comes back to white. You yeah. have to be in theater mode for yes. it to default to red. To red, yeah. yeah. So, Apple, if you're listening, when you're in red mode, how about letting me turn my flashlight on to red, please? Yeah. <laughs> please, yeah. somebody? <laughs> yeah. I, I will say this. So, so, you're right. That particular watch face is only available on the, the ultra. ultra and when you turn the crown on that watch face it goes from you know i'll call Multi-colors. it white to yeah to multicolor, right to to just red uh while we don't have that watch face on other apple watches we do have other watch faces of course and the crown is useful on those faces um i have uh yeah, Pete's I'm uh, trying in the, to do it on the video. Pete in the video is showing oh, it. Only it. Does I, it, it on Wayfair. It, it's only on that one yeah. watch face. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I, you know, whatever watch face I'm using, uh, as I as I move the crown, the numbers uh, get taller and shorter. I I, I I will attempt to show it on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, What's I mean it's it's just one of those things. Um, yeah, you can see it happening on the video where the numbers get taller and shorter. It, it's hmm. it's a weird. It's for us old guys that can't see as good. No I don't more. know. No, it's more of a design <laughs> thing to be yeah. perfectly. Yeah. Uh, like to me, it's like the, the, they don't get easier or harder to read. They just look different. So yeah. I don't know what that, I, you know. So my point is, regardless of what watch face you use, try moving the crown on the watch face. You might find that it does a thing. That either is useful or interesting or you neither. You might find some cool stuff. You might find. And then when you do, you what to, what do they do when they find this information? Personally, I'd send it to feedback at MacGeekGuide. Well, that's a choice that's that you me. could make. That's a choice. John, mm-hmm. would you make a choice? Um, my choice would be feedback at MacGeekGuide.com. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's choices that you guys would make. I... I and again, this is just me. I'm, I'm right. Obviously, I, I'm, I'm the most show. right here. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's our show. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it's feedback at MacGeekUp.com. That's there where I would go. send it. Yeah. yeah.